uh, in this video tutorial we will see uh, how to implement uh, we will start uh, object oriented uh, implementation using Python so in this very uh, video uh, we will see what's object oriented uh, concept so in the upcoming videos we will see how to implement this concept so uh, to see uh, what object oriented is about let's try to let's try to explain it using a simple picture a simple pictorial uh, discussion so I'm trying to open paint okay there you go so when we say object oriented programming which means we are uh, using classes and uh, class instances okay when we say class which means uh, a representation okay like we have a class called cars or car okay now car is a very generic term we have a different type of cars okay different model different engine uh, and different uh, fuel type cars okay so when we say car it's a generic type okay we have a different class let's say person person is also a class it's a generic name person has a property of full name age gender height weight okay location or citizenship all of these are class properties we call them attributes okay so class has attributes which means any class has properties in the case of if we take a class called car all cars have engine type fuel type uh, speed model and something like that okay and if we take the case of person any person has full name uh, name gender age country and other specific terms like number of eyes number of legs number of hands okay all these are attributes of a class okay so whenever we want uh, we want to write some uh, complex application or complex program we prefer to represent uh, our code or we prefer to group our code in classes different classes then we can use or we can create instances okay instance of a class let's say we have a class called person so person has property of name age gender okay now when we create an instance of a class called person we will have a specific name for that instance let's say name is john age is 20 and gender is male okay now we are providing specific values to those attributes which means if we provide specific values which means we have an instance of that class so we create an instance of person class and we provide values for the class attributes okay so class has attributes if we create an instance for car we have to provide type or model of the car engine type fuel type speed and other parameters of a car or other attributes of a car or other uh, values that we use to identify different type of cars okay we call them attributes 
in our object oriented programming so we have another concept here other than attributes we have methods in class um, let's clear our screen Okay, so now we have a class. We have a class called car and person. Now let's try to use the person class. We have created an instance. Let's create, uh, we create an instance for that class. That class has methods or functions as well as attributes. Okay. Methods like a person can, what can a person do? Okay. Tasks. A person talks, walks, eats, and drinks. Okay. These and other functions that a person does. And every person has their own ways to do things. Okay, so each instance will have its own way of uh, implementing those tasks or those methods. We call them functions or methods uh, in the case of object-oriented. Okay, so whenever we say classes. Class is a generic representation of a concept. Okay? Like when we say person, every person, every human being is a person. Male, female, uh, and other gender types. Also, any age, any person living anywhere, it's, repre it's represented or we represent everyone in a class called person when we go down to specific individuals then which means we have created an instance of a person class and that instance will have its own attributes and its own methods okay so this is uh, a basic uh, explanation of what class is or what object oriented is about Okay, so in the upcoming videos, we'll see how to implement this concept, this object-oriented concept, using Python uh, programming syntax. Okay, so I hope it's clear. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, uh, please uh, write it in the comment section below. Uh, and also, don't forget, to, don't forget to subscribe to our video if you haven't done it already. Uh, so that you'll get uh, notifications about our upcoming uh, videos. Thank you very much for watching.